I'm going to try this again. I got interrupted. So someone asked me to go over my throwing knives with them and give them some of my views, I guess, or opinions. Uh, I'll start off and say this. Uh, you have to go with what you think is best for you. Um, there's too much to tell you just in one video, and I don't want this to be more than 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to talk fast here. I'll leave a description in the bottom as I'm talking as far as the, the size or the, the name if I get it wrong. So just starting off, uh, if, if you've been with me for a while, you know in the last several, seven, nine months, I really was uh, getting into the tomahawk throwing. Now I got this from Academy, it's a tactical tomahawk. I don't know what the name is. You'll find it, trust me, it's there. Um, I, this is like the third or fourth one I went through. I kept returning them back. I just love these, the way these things were designed as far as the, the design itself. The size, the weight, the length, uh, I was just, I was killing it with this thing. The only thing is, it just did not last. I was breaking these things on camera, um, as you guys saw, and um, it, it just, I, I got I got tired of it. So this one I kept, I did not return it back just because I just like, I'm done. I'm not gonna switch them out anymore. I'm just gonna hang on to it. And I should have probably just taken it back and just kept it in, in my tool bag. But um, as you can see, uh, yeah, it just did not last. So. I'll do something with it, take it apart, I don't know, shine it up, put a wood handle on it or something. Um, here's another one I had. This is a SOG one. This is more of a mini one. Um, I had this one a long time ago. I just never really knew how to throw it until I got into the whole um, YouTube world of knife throwing and tomahawk throwing. There are tons of people out there, guys. There's a, there's a ton of people that you probably are not aware of. You just have to look for them. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of, of Adam. He's like a four-time champion. He's overseas. He's he's just a badass. Um, uh, there's a little, I'll see if I can leave a few more links of other channels of guys throwing knives and uh, pretty cool guys. So and and women out there too. Um, kind of fell out of the love of tomahawk and uh, uh, let me try my hand at, at throwing knives. So then I got into these. I bought these at Dick Sporting Goods. Um, I forgot the name of these. I, I want to say they were shredded or shred blades or something. They they make all kind of knives, folding knives, uh, fixed knives. I found the three set at Dick Sporting Goods for like probably 20, 30 bucks. And I thought, let me try these. Um, I'll tell you a few things about cheap blades, lightweight blades, is they do not last long as you can tell. Just the way they're made. If you want something indoor, something cheap, that you can throw out a cardboard box or a styrofoam or maybe a, um, a dartboard or something and you want to just go at it, um, go for it. Uh, I don't recommend them if you have the money. Go ahead and spend a little bit more money on higher end blades. Um, I didn't know if I was going to get into it like I am now, so I didn't know any better. So, um, take that and run with it. The next set is the Gil Hibben blades. Now, these are Gil Hibben competition triple set. I got these from Amazon. A lot of these, some of these blades here, you can get on Amazon uh, for a decent price. Um, this came with this leather sheath. Um, I had three of them. Now, when you first see these, you think, man, these things are huge. They're heavy. They feel heavy. You don't know what you don't know. You, if when you don't have anything to compare this to, like I'll show you my other blades, you think this is this is top dog. This is this is the biggest they come. This is the heaviest they come. They're cool in weight and size. Uh, I just, you really have to find a knack for these things to throw. Um, I've had some success, some bounce backs, or many bounce backs, um, and then they just lost my interest. Uh, I can still throw them. I don't throw them as good as the heavier blades. Heavy is key, guys. Um, heavy blades, thick blades are key, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. So um, I have three of these, uh, as you'll see here. I cracked this one, and just like these blades, you can see the quality is just not good as far as the more custom blades. I'm not going to put Gil Hibbers down because uh, he's been around for a long time. He makes a lot of blades. They're just, these are not going to last you long term. You're going to go through them. So once that broke, I kind of looked into the next set of blades that I wanted to, sh to get into. So uh, again, if you want something to start off with, you're not sure great you're taking a chance oh and then I got these other Gil Hibben 
These are cutlery ones. These are like eight and a half um, inches uh, in length. These I got from my uncle of mine. Um, I'll put it here so you can see next to the blade. I'm talking fast here because my wife's going to be coming home pretty soon with dinner. And I don't want to be doing this while she's here. Um, you can see the, the size comparison. Um, I have, I can throw these pretty good up close. I mean, three feet distance. Uh, people have done them longer. I just, they just, they're not heavy enough for me. Uh, I've tried the no spin throw. Um, might always end up spinning at least once. Um, I've been successful at times, but these, for me, they do good up close and personal. Um, I got these free, so what can I say? All right, moving on to the next um, ones here. And again, guys, go to Amazon. You can find these on Amazon. Uh, this one here was an actual um, a Bowie knife. It was a Winchester. Um, got to be careful of this one. This one's a little sharp. This one broke too, as you can see. Um, these are not made to throw, but I was throwing the shit out of them, so uh, that's what happens. Uh, I'll say this since, since I'm talking about real blades. Um, you don't want to throw real blades for two reasons. Number one, uh, you can cut yourself um, with, I'm going to use this one here. These right here, uh, these can these can cut you, don't get me wrong. They have a flat, more edge. I'll get into the more high-end blades in just a second. But throwing knives, if you, they don't have an edge to it. They have, they have that look to it like it's sharp, but there's no edge to it where it cuts. On a real blade, again, two reasons is you can cut yourself. This thing bounces back, you flip it around in your hand and you grab it, you're going to cut yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of handling this one with some care because it still has a little cut on it, a little edge. Don't throw them for those two reasons. You can cut yourself and they're not made to throw. All right. The next one's going to be the cold steel perfect balance blade. Again, I'm not going to go into to the steel blade size, but as you can see there, it's 1065 carbon, made in Taiwan. Um, cold steel, perfect balance. I really like these blades. I recommend these over these. Just my opinion. Um, the way, the design that it has here, it's just been really good. The thickness of the blade, to me, is, is a good thickness. I have not broken a perfect balance blade yet. So I recommend this design. There's a few other designs out there that um, I'm not really big on, but as you can see, two, three, four, five. I have five of these blades. What does that tell you? It tells you that I've enjoyed it. I haven't. I mean, it's it's got some jimping in it here, um, some cuts there from just throwing. Now I'll tell you this: it comes with these plastic handles. They're okay. I don't really care for it. I've taken mine off, as you see, all four of these blades. I like it to be lighter in weight, but heavy as well. The thickness of it, the durability, um, plus these when I throw them. I'm just using, for example, I'm not saying this is how you throw but when I throw it, they just tend to slide out of my hand. And I like that, as you see in the videos. All right, moving into the next end. This is another cold steel product. Uh, this one is a bit heavy, I will tell you that. Um, this one says China. The This one is a beast. Um, this is a uh, sure balance. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't like the design of it. Again, it has the same thickness. Nothing wrong with it. I've seen plenty of people, women, throw these. I just don't like the way they, the design is. So, I only have one of those because I wasn't sure. Uh, this next one, and uh, again, I'll put the description at the bottom here. This is a Condor one, yeah. Condor. Um, this one's a bit long and lanky. If you want to compare to the other one. Not a fan of it. I don't know. The design on it, again, it's kind of comparison to this one. I just don't like the design of it. So if I had a local knife person that was looking for knives, I would sell them these two and probably these smaller ones. Um, I just don't like the design. Uh, <laughs> just my opinion. All right, getting into the last part of the videos. These are more my custom ones. I like the spinner ones. 
this was one of my first custom one. Uh, this guy here, he's become a friend of mine. His name is uh, Randall Bo McNeese. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of him. He uh, actually added that come and take it. Um, the writing's already scratching off. Put the Texas thing on there. Thick leather handles. Um, that's his signature. He does the thicker ones. There's other people that do thinner ones. Um, if you have big hands, it's perfect. Uh, nothing wrong with it. I just, um, you know, haven't thrown this one in a while, but I was tearing the shit out of this one. Um, I will tell you this. He makes these from uh, motor blades. Um, motor blades are thick. They last a long time. Um, um, this one has last me. It has not cracked or nothing. I just need to get it sharpened on the pointer tips there. And um, I'll show you another blade of his or two that he made me. Um, reasonable prices. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you go his way, you can tell him Red sends you. Red. <laughs> he knows me. So, good guy. Good old boy. Next one, I actually wanted a more custom one that said Red on it. So, he um, actually, he redid this blade for me. It was a different design, kind of different handle and he just took it upon himself to make me another one there's his name there McNeese did the Texas thing for me took care of me on this one um, as you can see I've, I've thrown the shit out of this one too so thick blade um, the mower blades have been tested approved so the steel on it is is gonna last the last ones I have and uh, these are also spinners I got this from um, a knife show here in Texas a while back, recently. This one is, is uh, Matto Forge Blades. I'll leave a description for him too as well. He makes really good ones. I really fell in love with this one. This is, this is kind of a quick draw design. Um, the way it feels is pretty awesome. Um, very similar to uh, McNee's knives. but. This one, I think this one, he was able to um, uh, cut this out of a, one of those, um, what are those plasma cutters or those water jet um, cutters? See this? Matto, M A T T O. Oh, man, I just, I found this at a show. He gave me a good deal. Um, fell in love with it. I had to order another one. So he did me right. This one's a custom. This one cost me a little bit more money. He was actually able to cut red out in it. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit lighter in color, and this one feels like I guess because it cut some of the metal out. Handles are a little bit thinner, which I like, and uh, really like this this knife. I'm gonna ask him to make me another one eventually. Um, good guy, just real good guy. All right, the last one, the most recent one, is a Tanto blade, back to McNeese. Um, I asked him to make me this one because I saw him make one with handles. I said, dude, make me one with no handles. Don't throw any holes in it, just still the same motor blade. Uh, it has a serial number on there. But um, he was able to cut this out, and man, I really like this. As you can tell, it's already, I'm just, I'm working these blades, so I like the way it's just light. It's lighter than probably these blades here. Definitely lighter than this one. But this one's light. That one's lighter. And this one's a little bit lighter. Anyway, that's my review on the knives. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, as you can see, uh, depending on what you like, your preference, your budget, I've been ordering these little by little. Um, I've really gotten into it as you've seen my videos. Uh, take what you will from this. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to respond. And you guys have a good one. As always, adios amigos. I'm out.